Hi everybody, I hope you all are doing great. So in this particular video, we are going to see the same problem, longest increasing subsequence, but a very like optimal way to solve it, which is n log n time complexity, right? So in the past video, we saw that, you know, how to, you know, write n square code for longest series subsequence, both in recursion, memoization and tabulation, right? So of course, recursion was exponential time, but memoization and tabulation was n square time. In this particular video, we are going to see how to achieve this algorithm in n log n like time complexity. And yeah, I hope the question is pretty clear to every one of you. If it is not clear, you can like, I of course advise you to watch previous video, but don't worry. I will explain this question, uh, you know, in this video as well. So just look at the question and what the question is saying. Let's analyze that. So basically in this particular problem, you have to give me the longest increasing subsequence. What is the longest increasing subsequence you may ask? Basically a subsequence is what? You know, if you select any elements in a proper order, they might be together, they might not be together. That forms a subsequence, right? This is a subsequence 10, 8, 9, 12, like 10, 8, 9, 11 or 12, whatever. This is a subsequence. You have to, of course, select all the elements in the proper order, right? This is a subsequence. What is a longest increasing? Basically an increasing subsequence, which is longest. You can see three, four and you know, 12 is a increasing subsequence, right? But is this the longest one? Let's look at this five, eight, nine, and 11. This is of course the longest increasing subsequence. I hope this is clear that what do we mean by a longest increasing subsequence? Let us look at the explanation part of this problem. So to achieve longest increasing subsequence in L long and time, we are going to use an algorithm called patience sort. Right. Patient sort is a general purpose sorting algorithm and it is used to basically sort the A's and also it gives us the longest increasing subsequence itself. Right. Let us play a game of patience and see like how we are going to achieve it. There are some rules of the games. Let's see uh, what are the rules and let's analyze this algorithm itself. Right. So in patience game, game of patience, basically these are the cards we, which we are having and you have to place cards on like Pick, pick up cards one by one and you have to place those cards on piles, right? Okay. The goal of the game is to make minimum number of piles possible, minimum number of piles possible with some rules in mind, right? So just start the game and then develop an intuition that how is this game is getting played, right? So I'll pick up this 10 first and I'll place 10 into a new pile. Okay. All right. No issues. Now I will place five. Now the question is, should I make a new pile to place five? No. You have to select the leftmost if there is a leftmost pile which is having a bigger number than this number. You will select that pile and will keep this number on top of that pile. So 5 goes above 10. So 5 is now staying above 10 and this is the only pile we are having till now. Correct. Let's say this 8. Now 8 has to decide that is there any available pile from the left side which 8 can go to. You can see 5 is smaller than 8. It cannot. We cannot keep a card who is a bigger number card on a smaller number card, right? This means that no matter what, we have to create a new pile for it. I will create a new pile for it. So I've created a new pile for it. We take this three out and as soon as we take this three out, you will de definitely see that, you know, uh, three can be placed on five or it can be placed on eight as well. You have to select the leftmost valid pile. Any valid pile is any pile having number greater than me. And the leftmost pile, which is having number greater than me, I'll try to go there. So three will try to go on top of five. So three is on top of this pile. Eight is on top of this pile. Nine has come out. You can see three is smaller than nine. Nine cannot enter this pile. Eight is of course, what? Smaller than nine. So of course, eight, nine cannot go in this pile as well. Nine has to create a new pile of its own. Let's talk about this four. Four cannot place. We cannot place four on this pile because three is smaller than four. Can we place four on this pile? Yes, definitely. Can we place four on this pile? Yes, definitely. But I will choose the leftmost valid pile. So I'll four, like put four here. Okay. Let's take out this 12. So queen is actually 12. So uh, where do I want to keep 12? You can see three is smaller than 12. Four is smaller than 12. Nine is smaller than 12. I will place 12 into the new pile. 12 I have placed on the new pile. We will take out this 11 and you can see that where this 11 is going. Let us see where this 11 wants to go. We cannot place 11 here. We cannot place 11 here. We cannot place 11 here. Can we place 11 on top of 12? Yes, definitely we can. I'll place 11 on top of 12. These are the four basically, uh, you can say, 
piles which are which have been created and the number of piles formed in the end is actually the longest is the length of the longest decreasing subsequence i am not saying that whatever on top is making the longest decreasing subsequence or not but definitely uh, you can see the number of piles which we are having is forming the length of longest decreasing subsequence itself right so our only purpose is to get the length of the longest sequence subsequence, right? But I'll tell you one trick as well, so that you, if you want, you can of course get the longest sequence subsequence as well, right? But yes, I hope that it is clear that we are able to achieve length of longest sequence. That definitely that is four only, right? Let's see. So you know, of course, you can see three, four. You can see uh, three, or let's say let's let's take this five, eight. Let's say nine, and uh, you can say. 11 is of course a longest in subsequence of length 4 and this is the longest one right you cannot make any like anything longer than this right so this is the algorithm of patient like this is the game of patience and it is yielding the length of longest in subsequence let us analyze how if you if you want right you can of course get the longest in subsequence itself instead of its length let's see how we are going to do that and let us analyze more so now you're going to see that if you want to get the longest in subsequence how you can get it I'll of course make, I'll of course pick this first card and 10 will form a new pile because there is no existing pile there. I will pick up 5 and I'll put 5 here. I'll put 5 here because like, you know, it is the one which can accommodate 5 and we don't have to create more piles. The goal is to minimize piles, remember, right? 8. Can we place 8 on top of this pile? No. I will place 8 here. But while placing 8, I will do what? I will point a pointer from 8 to the what is just less left pile the top of the left pile so 8 is now pointing to 5 i hope it is clear that 8 is now pointing to 5 specifically i'm saying 8 is now pointing to 5 okay so let's take take this 3 out you can see 3 can be placed on top of this pile and this is the leftmost pile which can accommodate 3 i will put 3 here 8 is still pointing to 5 i am again and again telling you 8 is still pointing to 5 okay now 9 comes out can 3 accommodate 9 never can 8 accommodate 9? Never because you know 8 is smaller than 9. So I want to place in leftmost pile which is having a bigger element than me. 9 has to make a new pile. So as soon as we make a new pile, I will do what? I will place I will place a pointer from this 9 to the this whatever pile is in the left of me. So I'll place pointer from 9 to 8. Okay. Now let's see. 4. 4 wants to join 3, but can it join 3? No. 4 wants to join what? 4 wants to join 8 can can we join 8 definitely we can i will place 4 here but while placing 4 4 since we have placed this card 4 will point to the top of the left pile so in my left there is 3 directly so i'll place like pointer from 4 to 3 okay no issues let's take out this queen let's let's take out this 12 out 12 will definitely form a new pile. I'll form a new pile here. And you can see 11. When I put 11. And as soon as I place 12. Now, I'll also you know point the pointer to 12 to the left pile stop. And this 11 comes out. 11 can be placed on top of this. Can be placed on top of this. Can't be placed on top of this. 11 will definitely be placed on top of this 12. And as soon as we place this card. I'll place a pointer from its top to the left card. And you can now see that how this is getting formed. You can follow these pointers and you'll get the like longest series subsequence as well, right? So just follow these pointers and you can see that, you know, uh, let's start from this J. So J is pointing, 11 is pointing to 9. 9 is in turn pointing to 8. It's not pointing to 4, it's pointing to 8. So 9 is pointing to 8. And 8 is in turn pointing to 5. Okay. Let us see, is this a, lo a longest series subsequence? Yes, yeah. 5. 8, 9 and uh, 11 is definitely a longest sequence subsequence. Let's try to form the trail like uh, you know follow the trail of 12 this from this 12. So 12 is pointing to 9 itself and 9 is in turn pointing to 8, 8 is pointing to 5 itself and this is another longest sequence subsequence which you have formed right. So we have got both the longest sequence subsequence right using this algorithm. If you want to find out the proof of this algorithm as to how this algorithm is working you can I've linked uh, you know PDF to like uh, an article from Princeton University you can definitely, definitely read that out it's just of eight to nine pages you can definitely check that out if you want but yes this is the overall algorithm and this is how we are able to get using the game of patience the longest series subsequence in n log n time right till now I have not discussed anything regarding coding part right I have not discussing anything regarding coding part and I'm not expecting you to think of coding solutions till now right I will explain this coding part myself itself and let us look at the coding part itself now
In the current problem at hand, I just want the length of the longest existing subsequence, right? Let us think about how we're going to implement it in code, right? So I will, you know, use a tree set data structure in Java. What is a tree set? Tree set basically allows us to keep elements in an ordered form. And you can, of course, do queries like getting the ceiling of an element in the tree set itself, right? So for example, this is the tree set, right? I'm not drawing how this looks internally. I'm not drawing some kind of diagram. I'm just keeping an information that what are the elements present in my tree set, right? You can, of course, use a tree set or you can use binary search algorithm to, you know, uh, obtain this behavior. I will place this 10 here. So I will place 10 inside my tree set now. Five. I will, I have to search for what? The leftmost file, which is just greater than five. Basically, I'm trying to search a number which is just greater than five. 10 is greater than five. So 10 will be replaced by five. Whatever number is my ceiling. Ceiling means a just greater number will get replaced by me. Okay. Basically saying that I have placed five on top of 10. Right. Just like the piles we are taking. So eight, eight comes out. Can like, is this eight having any ceiling value? No, it is not having any bigger value than itself. So I have to form a new pile. I'll insert it quickly here. Eight has been inserted here. Three. This is the tree set data structure. Remember tree set, or you can of course take an array as well to achieve this data structure. So three, three, is there any number which is just bigger than three? Yes. Five is just bigger than three. So I will place this three on top of the pile, which have, which is having five on top. I will basically replace this five with three. This nine comes next. Can I like, is this nine having any bigger value than nine? No, we are not having any bigger value. This means nine have to form a new pile. So nine forms a new pile. Four is any bigger value than four. Yes. Eight is bigger than four. So I'll place four here. Okay. 12. Is there anybody who is bigger than 12 here? No. So 12 has to form a new pile. 11. Is there anybody bigger than 11? Yes. 12 is just bigger than 11. So I want the just bigger value, right? So I'll place 11 here. Correct. And what do I mean by just bigger value? For example, if we were having a one here, right? This one would not have been gone in this 11 pile. It has to be formed in just bigger value. So it will definitely choose the leftmost pile, which is having just bigger number, essentially saying that just bigger value has been formed, right? So I hope like this tree set is now like array has been like fully traversed. And this tree set is now having a length of four, right? And this is the length we are after. This will give me the length of the longest existing subsequence itself. I hope this algorithm is clear to everybody. Let us look and look at the coding solution for this problem. Let's quickly code this out. And yes, I hope this is clear that how we are achieving the n log n method of longest string subsequence. Of course, my task is to make algorithms as easy as possible for you to understand. And we started from the recursion method of uh, longest string subsequence. That was a little bit tricky, right? And then we discussed an easier method of n square solution in tabulation. Now we are discussing the simplest solution of all n log n method of getting longest string subsequence. It is not only like the simplest one, it is also the optimal one, right? Let's quickly see that how we're going to achieve this. And yes, then let's code and just find up the video. So I'm back in lead code and let's just reset the codes we have done earlier. All right. Okay. So let's quickly write the code for it. I need a tree set of integer. Integer. Tree set is a structure. Basically, it stores unique elements and it's you can of course query for ceiling of an element in this kind of DS. So new tree set. Right. This is the tree set which have been formed, right? Now one by one, I'll you know select every number in the array. So integer i is equal to zero, i less than nums dot length, i plus plus int x is equal to nums of i, correct? I want to search for the ceiling of this x element, which I'm standing on currently. So integer, uh, you can say uh, just bigger, just bigger is equal to uh, ts dot ceiling. I'll, this is an inbuilt function and I'll pass x here. So if just bigger is not equal to null, this means that I was successfully able to find a just bigger value than me. If I was able to successfully find a just bigger value than me, I have to replace that value with my value. I will say here, reset dot remove just bigger. Right. Okay. Just bigger. And of course, I will simply say that, you know, reset dot add just bigger. No matter what I have to replace or I have to add this value that can happen. But if I'm able to find the ceiling value, just the value which is greater than me, I have to replace it. So if I find that value, I'll remove it and then insert myself. If I was not able to find any ceiling value, this number will of course, since I'm taking an integer, so it will come out to be null. I'll simply write. So in the end, what do we have to return? I'll simply return ts.size. 
let's try to run this code and see if the syntax is correct. Right. Okay. So it's giving me null pointer section. Let's see uh, why is it happening. Yeah, of course, I don't have to insert the just bigger element again. I have to insert the X element, which is the element which I'm currently standing on. So this was the error that I was doing. So let us quickly yes, submit this and yeah. So this is the code. This is the most optimal solution for longest sequence subsequence. I hope this concept of longest sequence subsequence is clear to everybody. This is the series which we are going on. Of course, you are directly watching the video. You can of course watch the whole series which I'm trying to, in which I'm trying to make all the DB concepts easy. Right? Of course, here yeah, I say that the concepts are easy. It's just that you know if uh, you know if you have understood something clearly, you must you must not face any difficulty in explaining things easily. Right? This is what I believe. Right? So if the content is clear to everybody and you're enjoying the content, please support the channel. We are so close to 400 subscribers and I would really appreciate the support if you can of course share this with your friends and you know, you can spread the knowledge itself, right? So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video itself. Uh, in the next video, we are going to solve some more problems on longest agreeing subsequent itself and it is a very important, you can say, uh, type of dynamic programming problem set. Right? So yeah, until the next video drops.